This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, a quirk processes 62 invoices in four hours. How many invoices can the quirk process by working at this rate for 40 hours per week for six weeks? All right, so we're going to solve this one using a proportion. Again, a proportion is nothing more than two fractions that are set equal to each other. And let's fill in the left-hand side of the proportion with the information we know. We know the quirk can process 62 invoices in four hours. And let's take a look how I set up that uh, left-hand side. We have the number of invoices over time in terms of hours. So as we fill in this right-hand side of the proportion, we want to make it look like this, the number of invoices over the number of hours. Well, in this case, we want to know how many invoices. So that's unknown. We can call that X. So let's put that up here. Again, this is the number of invoices over the number of hours. Well, how many hours are they working? They're working for 40 hours for six weeks. So that's going to be 40 times six. Six times zero is zero. Four times six is 24. So this is going to be 240 hours. And let me go ahead and get this out of the way now. Now, how do we solve proportions? We solve them, we solve them via cross multiplication. So we do four times X, which is four X equals 62 times 240. Now you could work this out and uh, solve it that way. You could do 62 times 240. That said, let's go ahead and solve for X at this point. Let's go ahead and divide both sides of this equation by four. This crosses out, leaving us with X over here. And let me break this apart. Uh, four can be written as one times four, one times four is four. So I can actually break this apart to be 62 over one times 240 over four. These two things here and here are equivalent. And why did I do that? It makes this math very manageable. Um, what is 24 divided by four? It's six. So what is 240 divided by four? It's gonna be 60. So this becomes 62 over one, 62 divided by one, is just 62 times 60. And as it happens, this math is much easier to do. I'm going to do that off to the side. As a matter of fact, uh, zero times two is zero. Zero times six is zero. Before we start multiplication with the six, we have to bring in a zero placeholder. Six times two is 12. Bring down a two, carry a one. Six times six is 36 plus one is 37. Uh, this is zero, two, seven, three. So we can see X is going to be 3,720. In other words, uh, if this quirk works for six weeks and works 40 hours per week, they can process D3,720 invoices during that time.